to show you how to access your um, template code to do your assignment. So the traditional way was to click on the um, template you wanted and then click on the use this template button. So the normal approach is to use, use the use this template button. So we click on that. Now the owner has to be changed to the correct organization. So in this example, I'm going to use 5001 CM, but obviously you choose the module for which you're doing the assignment. And the name of the uh, repository should be your username, the one you use to log into the computer. Make sure you leave it private and in the description you put the name of the project you're working on. So in my example I'm working on the customer relationship manager. So I copy the name of the project and I add it to the description. Make sure you leave the repository as private and then you correct the private repository from the template. Now this step is where things tend to go wrong sometimes. So if this happens you click on settings scroll to the bottom and you delete the repository. So if that's the case, the alternative is to use plan B. And plan B is to create a new empty repository. So you click on this green new button. The username should be the same. The description should be the same. And you leave it as private. Do not tick this button here. Now we'll click on create a repository. So now what we need to do is clone this blank repository, this empty repository, to the computer. So we take this HTTPS link and we copy it to the clipboard. Now in terminal we're going to need to decide where we're going to place the repository. So I'm going to clone it onto the desktop of my computer and currently there's no files there at all. So the command is git clone, we paste in the URL and then we put the name that we want to call the folder on the computer. So I'm going to call mine 5001 CEM assignment and it says we seem to have cloned an empty repository so if I cd into this folder ls the project of the folder is empty so the next job I'm going to do is to download a copy of this template as a zip file so there's a clone and download button here I click on that and I've got the option to download a zip so now I have a folder which contains all the template files and I have an empty folder which is where my new repository is. So all I need to do is take the files and drag them into the template. And I can delete that template folder. So now I have a folder, my project folder with lots of files in. So if I list the contents now you'll see that there's all the files that I need. First of all, we're going to check the remote. Git remote minus three, and you can see it points to the repository that I've just created. You can see there's all the files that have been, uh, have been staged. Now, git commit and I give it a message if I check the status again it says nothing to commit working tree clean git push origin master if I go on to the uh, organization in github you can see the repository is just there you'll only see your own and if I click in there there's all the test files so to start working, Visual Studio Code, File, Open Folder, or Open. Click on the folder with the assignment in, and click on Open. And now we are ready to start working. So for example, there's my main roots file. So hopefully now you should be able to get your project started off using the template button option or if that fails, to reset things and use the second alternative.